Like ants, the troops retreated from the burning embers, but justice and liberty did not await black soldiers. Ahead of the unveiling to Liverpool's first archive to black soldiers, Liverpool poet Levi Tafari recites his poem, which was inspired by some of the letters. The poem The War Continues is important because black people in terms of African, Caribbean and Asian people have contributed to Britain in many ways. And one of the ways was they fought for Britain and not just in the Second World War, but in the First World War. So the poem is trying to awaken people's realization to the fact that we made a contribution to the war effort in that respect. OK, welcome to the Great War to Race Riots archive. The 160 letters in the archive were discovered in a filing cabinet that was traced back to the Lord Mayor of Liverpool's office. They hinge around the Lord Mayor's office in Liverpool at the time and they are letters from servicemen and seafarers and workers who are actually left stranded and destitute in Liverpool following um, demobilisation and embarkation into Liverpool. Um, and then what happens is when white workers return from the First World War, uh, a colour bar in terms of employment is put up. White workers are refusing to work with black workers and employers are making people uh, unemployed. And so the next phase of our, our project is to actually make um, black poppies. And it could be poppies like this that are created. It represents the struggle of the black soldiers who willingly and were funded by their government to come and fight for the UK. Um, and then they were treated incredibly badly and given the worst jobs during the war. -L -L it's hoped the black poppies will be made in January, but until the end of the month, there are some fun, creative writing workshops. <laughs> All the documents have now been digitised and are available on greatwartoraceriot.co.uk. Jesse Arrow Phillips, Forces News, Liverpool.